Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Those are results. But my client is not gonna like the way I did this. Oh, hey friends. The next patient is Max Austria. They provide outdoor sports in Austria. The symptoms are a very slow Elementor website. Because of that, they have visitors leaving the website early and they have bad rankings in the search engines. What did they try? Uh, multiple free caching plugins, but they broke their website instantly and it got them drowned in all the options and possibilities. All right, let's run a quick diagnose before we start with the solution. Let's run it on Google PageSpeed, let's run it on GT Metrics, and let's run it on the Pingdom tools. Oh, okay, this really worries me. The long-term consequences are less conversions, loss of clients, and you could even go out of business because their website is the only way of advertising their business change has to come. So my prescription is a five step medicine. The first one is we need to install world's best caching plugin. The second is we need to get rid of all this unhealthy and sluggish fat. The third one is we need to optimize all images. And the fourth one is we will reroute the entire website through Cloudflare. If that all doesn't do the trick, we have to do some serious surgery and I doubt if my client is going to be happy with that fifth step. Alright, let's get to it and follow me so you can optimize also your own website with Elementor. First we go and check what the current speed is of our website. So go to PageSpeed Insights from Google, a link is in the description if you don't know where to find it, and enter your website's URL. So we're going to optimize maxaustria.com and we press analyze. Then we go to GT metrics and we press enter our website and we press analyze. And then finally we go to Pingdom tools and we enter the website and we press start test. All right, it's time to get our scores. We have, oh, that's Terrible low, 30 is really, really bad. As you can see, all the data from the lab is really not so good. Also, GT Metrics is a not so good score. It's a dramatic 7.7 .7 seconds for your load time is awful. Also, it's a F and E. -E. Mm. And this also really hurts my eyes to see this Pingdom website speed test results for a whopping 5 seconds load time and a 6 MB in page size and 100 requests. Well, they all use different methods to test it, but let's optimize this and see what happens. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into the description of this video, click on the affiliate link to go to the best speed up plugin in the world especially for elementor i have tried them all and this one is the best so when you click on this link you will go to the website of wp rocket and they have features man it's amazing gzip compression page caching quick setup browser catching they have it all the list is unending and as you can see compared with all the other plugins the features of wp rocket is way better so let's go to the pricing here you can choose your license a single plus or infinite license it's all good just choose what you need fill in your details pay with your credit card or with paypal and download the plugin log into your wordpress dashboard if you are still using wp admin to log in that's not a very safe way so i really suggest you watch my video about wordpress security the circle of five on your dashboard you go to plugins add new then you go to upload plugin and press browse and you select the wp rocket version that we have just downloaded from the website press install now and press activate plugin all right after activation we go to wp rocket and we press settings it says wp rocket is now activated and working your website should be loading faster now all right let's recheck the scores we can dismiss all these notices right here and we're going to reload all the scores. Let's rerun the PageSpeed Insights. Let's retest GT Metrics and let's retest again on Pingdom. 
As you can see on the right side from the test, something has changed, but are we satisfied? No sir, we are not yet satisfied because we need to change a lot of other things to get that Google page speed up in the green area. I'll walk you through all these settings right here to activate the ones that really matter and I will tell you some information if you need to know. Alright, let's start with go to caching and enable separate cache files for mobile devices. Enable caching for locked in WordPress users and press save changes. And let's go to file optimization, the CSS and JavaScript. Activate minify CSS files. Activate minify CSS. Press combine CSS files and press activate. That was a big change right there in the score. So let's go further. Optimize CSS delivery. All right, we go further with the JavaScript files. Let's press remove jQuery migrate. And we go to minify JavaScript files. Press activate. All right, combine JavaScript files. Activate. We saw a big drop in the number of requests, so that is very good. Let's go to the next one, load JavaScript deferred, and let's turn on the save mode for jQuery. And WP Rocket already supplied us with a list of scripts that is very handy. Let's press save changes. Alright, now we go up, we go to media and we press lazy load, enable for images. Hey, we see a little bit of a drop in our scores, that's okay, just keep going. Enable for iframes and videos, replace YouTube iframes with preview image. Alright, the scores are coming back up, let's go to the next one. Disable WordPress embeds and we don't have web images on our website so we can leave this disabled and press save changes okay let's go to preload activate preloading activate sitemap based cache preloading and we use rank map xml sitemap now if your sitemap doesn't show up here you can add it here manually enable link preloading and press save changes. Okay, you see on the top there is a preload being done, it's complete and three uncast pages now been preloaded. All right, all right, let's go to the advanced rules. Now you don't need to change these rules, but if you never want to catch a URL, then you could exclude it here from the cache. Just enter your URL in this way. For WooCommerce pages, they have already never been cached by default, so you don't need to enter those one. If you don't want to cache cookies, you can add them here. User agents, birds, URLs and query strings, you can add them all here. If you're an advanced user, you can change this. If you don't know what it is, just leave it this way. Let's go to database. You can clean up your entire website, so you can delete all the revisions, auto draft, and trust posts. We're not gonna do this for this website because I don't know if my client wants to delete all their revisions. You can clean all your comments, your transcends, your database, and your automatic cleanup. If you have an awful lot of revisions in your database and you don't want to go back to an older version of your website pages, you can clean all these up and then your database will be cleaned more. If you're not sure, just leave it this way, you can always go back. Let's go to CDN. If you have a CDN, you can, you can use it right here. If you don't, you can buy one for Rocket. We'll be using Cloudflare in just a bit, so you can leave this all the way it is. Let's go to Heartbeat. Let's control our Heartbeat and press Save Changes. Let's go to add-ons, add more features, Google tracking. If you have Google Analytics, press this button, turn it on. If you have a Facebook pixel on your website, turn this on. And if you have varnish, turn this on. So for this website, we don't have a Facebook pixel and we're not using varnish, so I can put them on. Uh, now we have to integrate our website with Cloudflare. It's a very powerful free Tool, so we're gonna do this in just a second. Image optimization you can use Imagify but we will be doing this in just a second and here we have the tools to export our settings and of course tutorials if you want to know more. 
All right, let's get back to the add-ons. It is time to add our website to Cloudflare. If you follow these steps, we can just add it in just a second. So upon optimizing, I realized that well, this website isn't hosted by me, but be with another hosting company. So I did a check for the PHP version and we're still on 7.2. So let's go to 7.4.6 and let's see what it does with our speed. Alright, so that didn't do very much, so let's get rid of all those unhealthy and sluggish fav on our website. We go to plugins, installed plugins. And now you can see that there are 31 plugins installed on this website and they don't need all this rubbish. So we are going to delete some of those plugins that we definitely do not need. So by shutting down 12 plugins that we didn't use at all, we just saved our a bunch of speed. Our website just loaded below one second. But still, I am not satisfied with this score. I know they can be higher, so we are going to do some more things. Let's head over to GT Metrics. And here you see that why the score is low is because they say we have to optimize images. We can reduce the following images to reduce their size. Well, as you can see, it is not very much, but they still mention it because it could be better. The best thing about GT Metrics is that they also give you the solutions. So we have the C optimized version. If I press, so if I press C optimized version, I'll get the same image, but they have compressed it. So we can use this on the website instead of the original one. Let's do that for all the images right now. We press save image as. So I've downloaded all the optimized images and now I'm going to change them on the home page of the website. So they have a slider right here. Alright, so I changed all the images in Elementor and let's go to our GT metrics and, and rerun the test again with the new images. Let's see what happens. Alright, now you see that the score is way better because we have optimized the images. So I'm still not very satisfied with the page speed of this website. So we are going to reroute this website by Cloudflare. You go to Cloudflare. So it's a process that is easily done if you follow these steps, but it can be tricky. So really watch this close how it goes. Press the button sign up if you don't have a Cloudflare account yet. Fill in a email address and a password and click on create account. Fill in your website's name without the HTTPS, so it is maxaustria.com and press add site. Just hold on a bit. We're going for the free plan. Confirm our plan. Now they will scanning our DNS records, which are very important because we will be using Cloudflare instead of our own DNS servers. So we have to see if all this is correct. Now you have to check this with your current hosting. If this is wrong, then your website will not be able to function normally. So please check this. How do you do that? You go to your original hosting settings and you check if these DNS settings are correctly taken, copied by Cloudflare. If they're not, change it. If they are, you can leave it. So I've checked it and this is exactly the same as with the original host. So I press continue and we want to change our name servers because I don't want to transfer my entire domain to Cloudflare. Press continue with default. And here are our host names that we're using right now. And we have to change them to this. All right, you go to your hosting. Now we're gonna change the name servers. You have to look for something like this, change name servers. Just click it. And here you can change the name servers as stated by Cloudflare. So we copy the name server number one and we're pasting it right here. And then name server number two. We click to copy and we change name server number two. So if these name servers are correct, we press submit. Now the name server settings has been changed. It can take two to 48 hours before those changes have been implemented throughout the entire internet. 
When you are here and you have changed it, you can press done, check the name servers. This is full, always use HTTPS, yes. WP Rocket will change these settings later on. So we can just press done. We can close this, all these messages. Alright, so now we have to wait until the name servers are replaced by the ones we have just implemented. When it is completed, you will be notified right here. So after a few more minutes of waiting, we have just seen that great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your website. All right, that's awesome. Now what we need is we're gonna need this zone ID. So click this to copy because we will need it for WP Rocket. Let's get back to WordPress and we go to WP Rocket. And now we can go to the add-ons and we can enable Cloudflare right here. And we have to modify the options. And this is what we have to put in our zone ID, our account email. You have to use the email that you have used to register at Cloudflare. And we have to find the global API key. Now you can find the global API key right here. Get your IP code in, token, press AP tokens. And here you press view the global API key. Enter your password, fill in the captcha and press view. We copy this text, we click to copy, we go back to WordPress and we paste in the global API key. All right, let's press optimal settings, automatically enhances your Cloudflare configuration. We press save changes. All right, so Cloudflare cache level set to standard, minification on, rocket loader is off and the browser cache has been saved. All right, let's see what this does to our scores. Okay, we got the scores up, but this is definitely not what I was looking for. It might be enough for some people, but as the WordPress doctor, I always want the best. So it's time to do the fifth step. We are going to perform some serious surgery on this website. So follow me because I'm just going to take this website and place it on one of my own servers because I had it and I think it's the hosting of this website. Cheap shared server hosting never get you any far. Let's go. Well, to move this website to another server, I'm gonna use my method described in another video, which you can follow step by step. In this video, I'll show you how you can use an outdated plugin to export this entire website to a single file and upload it again to another server. After that, I have changed the name servers to the new server also using Cloudflare. And these are the results coming in right now. Now this is what I'm talking about. Follow the steps, follow this medicine and you got great scores. Awesome! Only my client is not gonna be happy with this solution because it might quadruple the price that they're paying per year and now per month. But sometimes if you want to go fast you have to pay some extra money. Now the extra money isn't not that much if you follow the link in the description because I have an affiliate link which will give you a big discount if you want to change hosting companies to a faster one that I actually used in this video. Now they're not willing to pay that money so I had to switch them back to their old hosting so if you test the website right now it's not gonna give you the max score that we achieved in this video. Just a little disclaimer before you start crying in the comments Trust me, your website can be awesome fast. Now, if you liked this video, if I helped you out, hit that like button so I know we were on the right track. Now, if you optimize your speed, then now you have to take your SEO very serious. Follow this video if you need more advice on that one. We're going to optimize a real website. Also, if your security is not that good, just follow this video, which I will teach you everything about WordPress security I know. Alright friend, I see you with the next patient.